So, Sheikh, my question is, isn't it sunnah to pray Tahiyatul Masjid? If it is sunnah, then if one leaves that prayer for any reason, will he be sinful? I wanted to know that, Sheikh. Barakallah fi hayatik. Wa feekum barakallah. First of all, when you use such a terminology as sunnah, the first thing that jumps into people's minds is the definition of sunnah according to the jurors who say a sunnah is what you are to be rewarded when doing and if you skip it you're not sinful unlike wajib which is you're rewarded if you do it and if you skip it you'll be sinful so this is the first thing that comes to people's minds however there is another definition of sunnah which is the way so anything that the prophet did in his life alayhi salatu wasalam this is labeled as sunnah regardless of the ruling whether it is wajib mandatory or recommended mustahab or permissible mubah or makruh not recommended or haram prohibited the five rulings al ahkam al taklifiyah that deal with legislative rulings so when someone says is praying fajr dhuhr asr maghrib and isha is praying these five prayers sunnah the answer is yes in the sense that the prophet did it but when we come to the five legislative rulings is it sunnah meaning is it recommended if i do it i am rewarded and if i don't do it i'm not sinful that says no definitely it is wajib it is fard if you don't do it you're sinful and you'll be punished for that going back to your question brother fuad so the tahiyyatul masjid the two rak'ahs we're ordered to pray before sitting when entering a masjid is it sunnah meaning recommended the answer is no it is mandatory it is wajib if you sit without doing it you'll be sinful if you pray it you have reward so it is sunnah in the sense that the prophet usually did it and he ordered us to do it but it in the sense of rulings it is mandatory and wajib abdul